Hey everybody, just wanted to uh, give a look at show what my gears here in my Atlas 12 are looking like right now and why I'm about to take on gear making. You can see how much slops in the shaft. You can see how they've uh, worn down to points here. How uh, this, yeah, there's a marked difference between where this contacts the spindle gear here and where it is not worn over here. Same thing, it's being taken down to a point. Um, both of these gears that can engage forward or reverse in the banjo look the same. And as you follow it on down the gear train here, uh, this one doesn't look terrible. I mean, I could probably get away for a while with replacing uh, this, this, and this, but I'd be kind of afraid of these then working to deform the new ones I made, so I probably will go ahead and do everything on down through here, including this one, which doesn't look that bad. But these are made of Zamac, and, uh, you know, they've got a reputation for wearing out. However, uh, if you watch uh, Harold over at uh, Amateur Redneck Workshop, he was uh, showing the inside of his gearbox in one of his recent videos, and uh, they look, his gears look fine. I think he bought his lathe new and um, has just taken care of it. Um, one of the problems uh, that I think uh, wears these gears out is people put grease in here rather than gear oil, and then the grease ends up collecting uh, crud from everything from chips to just, you know, abrasive dust and whatnot. Um, and they just keep slapping grease on it, and it, uh, this happens as a result. Um, so that's what I'm dealing with, and that's why I'm... Uh, my next project is going to be making gears. I'm going to pull this banjo off right now um, and uh, get some measurements. I've got my gear cutters. i got to make an arbor. i got material to make the arbor ordered. It's the first time I've ever actually ordered material rather than just going down to the scrap yard and finding something. Um, and um, what else? Oh, I'm going to run this really quickly uh, just so you can hear what it sounds like, you know, with and without the gear train engaged. So you can uh, just, you know, see what it's like. But i got to put that one gear back. I already slid it out. All right, so background somewhere between 30 and 40. Up to about 75, 80. With no gears. Throw the gears into the works. I'm honestly surprised it's not more than that. I wonder if I move it over here closer to the, the train. Maybe it's just the high pitch nature of it that makes it seem so much louder to me. And it's a good 10 or 15 decibels louder. But it's, it's so high pitched, it's incredibly annoying. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to get those gears straightened out. Hope it won't sound like that when I'm done. I also think I'm going to build an electric uh, drive for my uh, feed screw for when I'm just uh, doing turning as opposed to um, threading. And then I'll, I won't even use the gear train. I'll only use the gear train for threading. And that way all I ever have to listen to is... <laughs>
So these are the worst of the lot, if you can see. And profile there. Worn down to points. So, it's like they've been taken off before, and they've been boogered up a bit. So, I will uh, get them off here and take some measurements real quick. Now, one nice thing about these is uh, because they're just free spinning, uh, there's no keyway that I have to broach. So these will probably be the easiest ones I'll ever have to make with a lathe. Two, three, six, seven. Right now, now as to how much, to whether that's been worn down already, of uh, the actual diameter. That's a good question. <clears throat> I'll mic out this width here. Um, and I'll have to get inside the teeth to get the original thickness of uh, where the teeth are because they've actually, as they've been deformed, they've spread. So I can't get an outside measurement here, but I can get a measurement off the inside here, which actually, you yeah, know, it's different to the profile. This hub is thicker, and I'm guessing it needs to be. So. Yeah, I'll have a couple different uh, dimensions to get. All right. Got our machinery handbook. I want to know my outside diameter so I can cut this down. This is a blank I've had kicking around for a while. <clears throat> my outside diameter. Depends on whether I want full depth teeth or American standard stub teeth. I, I'm going to assume I want full depth teeth. I don't know. Go big. So, what we got here is a D sub zero, D sub O, I should say. It's equals N the number of teeth plus two over diametral pitch. I counted out the teeth as 36 plus two over the diametral pitch just from looking up on the web it's supposed to be 16 for these uh, gears which is why I bought these cutters so 36 plus 2 over 16 equals 38 over 16 equals 19 over 8 19 8 2.375. Alright, cool. Alright. Yes. Sweet. Um, Let's just make sure I didn't do anything wrong there. 38. Yes. Okay. Um, 
2.375. So when I measured them, the gears, uh, the existing ones, they came out at 2.367. That's close enough to me to make me think that they've worn down um, and that they started out as 2.375. So that's what I'm going to cut my blank down to. That'll be tonight's project.